Hello everyone, it's Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with my next um, nail of the day, kind of nail art nail of the day. Um, I added some studs, just minimal. But um, so this is the design that I created. It's kind of a jelly sandwich. Um, and I just did the same on both hands. The only thing I switched around was these two nails. I did not do the jelly sandwich. Um, I didn't put the jelly polish over top of it like I did the pinky and thumb well it's different on each hand so on my right hand I didn't put it over the index finger and on my left hand I didn't put it over the thumb but I just wanted to do something a little bit different and I the inspiration for this one was um um nail guy nail guy TV nail guy TV um on Instagram had one kind of with um the purplish color, the light and dark, and then um, some additional kind of rhinestones, but not um, an exact. It's just kind of what I got my inspiration from to do this manicure. But I also wanted to try out the um, the both of these new jelly polishes from um, um, Julep. Now the designs are different, but um, it kind of more the color scheme in terms so this is the design which unfortunately you probably can't really see it just because of the coloring but um, I will put a link to this his um, his Instagram picture that I am drawing inspiration from down in the um, description box so let me go ahead and first insert a clip of the items that you'll need to do your stamping the items you're going to need to do your stamping is your stamper. I prefer the really squishy marshmallow stampers. You will need your scraper and this one is from Creative Shop. You will need um, a cotton ball saturated with pure acetone to clean your plate and your scraper. And then what I use to clean my actual stamper with is just a lint roller. And basically, it just quickly and easily removes any um, leftover polish that you may have from the stamping design. And also, you will need your stamping plate and then whatever polish you choose to do your stamping. And then it, this is Conad Special Stamping Polish. And I believe that is all you need. And um, I like to use the liquid latex to clean up, um, to make clean up easier. And now for the items that I use from start to finish. Um, first, I'm started out with I used two different base coats. I wanted to test out the oxygen bonding base coat again to see if I had the same problem that I did. And I did not. I only applied it on the pinky nail and I didn't have that problem. I did do something different in terms of how the application, like previously, I had my gel shine top coat on my nails and then applied this this time i did not apply the gel top coat over top of the gel overlay and then i applied this and then polished and i didn't have any trouble so hopefully it was just the shininess and then for the rest of my nails i used the oxygen smoothing base coat to apply as my base coat or whatever which i absolutely love and it's almost gone and then excuse me i'm so sorry i just came back well, I just came back, but I recently came back from my 4.4 mile walk today, and ugh, my dogs are barking. But Ming, oh, this is like a favorite. This is a um, jelly polish from Julep, and it is called Ming from the It Girl Profile. And I believe this came out in the March or April box. Um, but I absolutely love this. I mean, even one coat is perfect for that flush of color. Um, as the jelly sandwich, it is absolutely great. And then this is what it looks like without the jelly polish over top. Just to give a little bit of contrast. So, but I oh, love this. A little runny, but I love it. Color is amazing, especially for spring and summer. And then the next polish that I use is Cora. And this one was released in the um, It Girl Mystery Box, the all nail polish one. And this is a jelly glitter. It's like a dark navy blue base with blue and teal, green teal like glitters in it. 
I applied it very thick, one coat, but um, I really do like it. I think it looks just stunning. Um, kind of looks like really dark, deep sea water, ocean water, whatever. And then um, <clears throat> I always apply a top coat before I do any stamping. And this time I just use the Julep Oxygen Performance Top Coat. And the reason I used this one was because I did the polish application yesterday. And because I use the jelly polishes, they you we all know they take forever and two million days to actually dry completely. And I didn't want to mess it up by pressing on the nails while doing the stamping. So I just figured I get like two nail designs in one by just wearing just a plain polish by itself, which I already have posted on Instagram. And then um, <clears throat> today, Tuesday, I'm doing my did my stamping. So. And for the stamping polish, I just use the um, Conad um, special stamping polish, this like grapey purple color, um, just because I wanted something a little bit darker um, to really show the design. And then, um, yeah, and then my final top coat, as always, I love to use my IBD UV top coat, cure it for two minutes under my UV lamp. And then for um, just a little bit of zhuzh or accent, I added um, some studs, a gold and silver stud just on the middle finger. And this just came in this nail art wheel. I think I got this one from Moyu London when they messed up my order but I can't be for sure. Um, it has a combination of gold and silver square and round studs. I guess I should have used round since the glitters in the jelly are round, but kind of give us contrast. And it has some clear rhinestones, two, two things of clear, two things of black, and then a, one thing of half pearls, and then a thing of gold, silver, and black micro beads. So, and then for my stamping plate, I am using my Dashika Beauty Shop Infinity Nails plate, and this is plate number 16. And the image that I used was, yeah, it looks so different on camera, was this one right here in the bottom corner. And then um, another thing that I'm using that I'm loving is the um, li liquid latex. It helps and makes cleanup so much quicker and easier. Um, I would suggest though just doing one hand at a time so that you're not getting stuck to yourself and peeling it off and having to reapply. But um, yeah, I think that's everything that I used. I'm extremely pleased with how this turned out. Um, and yeah, I'm almost ready to do another nail design. Um, but I feel like I've been so out of the swing of things that I'm like craving and fiending to do more nail, do my nails more often now. So um, yeah, that is everything that I use. So let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you tried any of these polishes or products. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you have not already. And also don't forget to check your settings and click the box to get email updates, email alerts when I um, upload and post my new video so you don't miss anything. So thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times and have a super fabulous day. Bye.